<sighs> Today, let's make daging dendeng. It's sort of like a jerky that's rich with flavor, sweet, caramelized, slightly spicy, definitely mouth-watering. All right, so for rendang dendeng, first of all, what we need to do adalah kita nak sediakan dia punya daging. Uh, di sini saya ada batang pinang. We're cutting it into um, chunks. And nanti senang untuk kita nak potongkan untuk menjadikan dendeng. All right, next, the aromatics. Got ginger. Next, some shallots. Lemongrass, bash. Next up, garlic. Some beautiful coriander roots. Some lime leaves. Add in some water, just enough to cover the meat. Season with some salt. So we've set the pressure cooker to 30 minutes on a high pressure. So if you're doing it on conventional stove top, you need about maybe 40 to 45 minutes. While the beef is being cooked, we can start preparing the blended items. Red onions. Now for some lemongrass. Slice. Garlic. Now a thumb of ginger. Here I've got some rehydrated dried chilies, which we've cooked for about 20 minutes. Squeeze out all the liquid. All right, now add in some water and blend. <laughs> Alright, so kita dah keluarkan. We've removed the beef from inside the pressure cooker. Yeah, save the beef stock. Don't throw this away. This is going to be useful for our dinding later on. Okay, so now what we have to do is slice up this beef. Alright, now the important thing to note when you're cutting the beef, right, is to see where the grain is at, which direction the grain is going. So if the grain is going this way, yeah, it's important that we cut it the opposite direction. So we get something that looks like this, yeah, or like this, yeah. So this way, the meat isn't too tough. Alright, now, once you've cut the beef, what you want to do is give it a slight sort of pound. Yeah, this will help flatten the meat, thin it out a little bit, make it a little bit broader, and also help in tenderizing the meat as well. All right, now that once we're done smashing this beef, return it to the bowl. And we're going to be marinating this with a little bit of sweet soy sauce, about two tablespoons. Give it a good mix around. Set that aside and now we're going to start frying off our blended ingredients. Alright, now we're going to add in some cooking oil. Alright, so now while we are sauteing the rempah or the blended items, we're going to fry the beef. Okay, add a little bit of cooking oil into a pan. All right, now once you see that the mixture is sort of nice and caramelized, the color is deepened, you know, all that liquid, all that moisture is evaporated, you end up with something that looks like this. Now, we're gonna add in the beef. Mix the tamarind pulp with a little bit of water. All right, now we're gonna ladle in some of this beautiful beef stock. Season with a little bit more sweet soy sauce. All right, now we're adding in some lime leaf. Just peel off the stem, bruise it to release all its natural essence. Last but not least, one onion.
All right, now, last of all, we're adding in some beautiful fried shallots. Now, this is going to just up the level of flavor and fragrance in this dish. So I put in about, let's say, a handful. Yeah, there we go. And I put it in almost towards the end because I sort of want that uh, shallot to stay nice and crisp as well. Here we go. We can put a little bit of Don Ceylon on the top. bite to the beef at the same time you've got that nice sweetness from the sweet soy that pairs really really well with the fried up rumpa you know that's also nice and caramelized you get that nice fragrance from the onions the sweet the chilies that become nice and sweet and everything just comes together the fried onions on the top putting it last minute and then you get some hints of that little fried onions like woo, so good all right, so this is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you've enjoyed it, you think it's added value to you, do click the like and subscribe button, guys, and also the notification bell on the side. Now, one last final mention. Uh, shout out to our sponsor, Saji, Malaysia's largest cooking oil brand. Uh, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, take care until I see you next time, all right? Love you.